West Dallas has always had a reputation. The opinions could vary potentially, but if you ask me, the reputation has been that of not the best place to live. Every city has its hoods, or some would call them ghettos, primary black families. But in recent times, overrun by a Hispanic population, West Dallas is one of those hoods in the DFW area. Others of note are large parts of Oak Cliff, Pleasant Grove, and South Dallas proper, not to be confused with the southern sector of Dallas, which includes DeSoto, Cedar Hill, Duncanville, and Lancaster, and others. Now, in recent years, West Dallas has gone through a bit of what you call a gentrification, which can be defined as the process whereby the character of a poor urban area is changed by wealthier people moving in, improving housing, and attracting new businesses, typically displacing current inhabitants in the process. And it looks darn good, though. It all started with Trinity Groves, which is an area in West Dallas full of fun restaurants and a few nearby shops. It sits at the base of the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge, designed by renowned Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. In more recent news, Goldenrod Companies just announced a massive expansion in Dallas's Trinity Groves district. Set to transform around 45 acres into a buzzing multi-use haven in West Dallas. This development will encircle three blocks of existing residential buildings, creating a lively, green, and pedestrian-friendly neighborhood. We're aiming to create the ultimate live, work, play community, said Zach Wiegert, the managing principal at Goldenrod, who's a former NFL player. Goldenrod, a real estate firm focused on central U.S. markets, plans to develop nine parcels ranging from 1.1 1. 1, ranging from 1. 1 to 8 acres. The first phase will include 2,419 residential units, existing and new, 788 hotel rooms, 1.4 million square feet of office space, 10,000 parking spots, and 126,000 square feet of retail space. Once fully built out, the project will boast over 5,000 residential units, 994 hotel rooms, and 2.6 million square feet of office space, 22,000 square feet of retail, and nearly 18,000 parking spots. Earlier this year, Goldenrod acquired an 11-story office tower in Richardson's Innovation Quarter. Planning to renovate the building with its impressive 85% lease rate at the time, the Trinity Groves development will connect to the Ryan Kirk Pedestrian Bridge, linking it to Clyde Warren Park about two miles away. This isn't Goldenrod's first venture in Trinity Groves. In 2023, they purchased nearly 90 properties in the area from West Dallas Investments. Goldenrod, launched by former NFL player Zach Wiegert in 2005, is also behind Fort Worth's Van Zant and One University projects. The Trinity Groves expansion adds to the ongoing development along the Trinity River, including the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge, the Ronald Kirk Pedestrian Bridge, and the future 250-acre, $325 million Harold Simmons Park. So great things are happening right around Trinity Groves, right around Trinity River in this Trinity Groves area. They're saying, they're saying and asking, is Trinity Groves the new uptown? Will it be the new uptown? You know, uptown has competed tremendously with downtown. Downtown was the place to be. Everyone moved downtown. Many, co many companies moved into downtown. Uh, Goldman Sachs moved to downtown, Invesco uh, Financial moved to downtown, uh, Deloitte downtown. A lot of people were there, Bank of America building. And then Uptown came along and lots of folks moved to Uptown, including Salesforce and, and uh, Ernst & Young and lots of others. Mavericks are there. Is there a new space? Will Trinity Groves be the equivalent to what they have in Houston and in Atlanta, a, a midtown, if you will? In Houston, it, they have Midtown, they have Downtown, Atlanta, Midtown, Downtown, Buckhead. Is that going to be the effect that we're going to see in the central Dallas area now, Downtown, uh, which is Central Business District mostly? Courts, government buildings, things of that nature, law firms. Uptown, a little more happening. Nightlife. And now West Dallas, Trinity Groves area. What shall we see? What's going to develop? I'm quite interested to see it. Let me know your thoughts. Is it going to be the new uptown? Is this a good idea? What's this going to do for Dallas? Let me know in the comments. I'm Lem. This is the Dallas Insider.